The following video produced by Sonoran Visual Media, 602-283-4440 or sonoranvisualmedia at cox.net. I think when we were told about this honor, we both just felt so good and, and blessed to be a part of this great community and uh, of the JCC. When, when Darren and I were, were, uh, were told that we were going to be honored uh, by the JCC, uh, we, were, uh, we were moved. This is an institution in our community that is vital uh, to the continuity of our people and our community and to be recognized uh, for our involvement and for our participation and, uh, and, and being recognized for participating in its evolution and its, its continuity uh, is, is truly an amazing honor. Well, I think the JCC is a home base for everybody to come together for whatever it is, for meetings, for events, and I know I'm there a lot for women's board activities. The JCC actually is a magnet for Jewish people to share interests and to bond together, which ultimately create a much stronger Jewish community. For us, the, the pinnacle of uh, our experience with the JCC has been the recent Maccabi Games that we hosted here in Phoenix. Um, it wasn't our first experience, but I think it was one of the best experiences, is walking into the campus filled with so many kids of all ages. Uh, just people socializing and having a great time. I've never seen that place so crowded, so alive. Imagine our community without a JCC, and it's very easy to understand and to see the huge void that would exist. Our community without the JCC would not be uh, the community that it is. Um, I think Ron and I have chosen to give to the JCC because of our sense that our community needs to come together, and we need a place like that, and there is no other place. Uh, therefore, it needs to be supported. Uh, because without our support, without the support of the community, the JCC could not exist. When I was told that I received this honor, I was very surprised and very pleased. It was very nice to be honored. Growing up in Nashville, uh, the community center was very important. Moving to Phoenix, the Jewish community center was not very well established at the time. Um, my son didn't have an opportunity to spend much time at the Jewish community center, so my son, who was um, 13 at the time, got involved with the Maccabi Games, um, which was once again where I got involved. And when I knew that they were coming to town, I definitely wanted to be a part of it. My reason for wanting to be involved coordinating the Maccabi Games was because I wanted to help Phoenix become more of a cohesive Jewish community. I feel that the community uh, lacks um, cohesiveness. I was chair of special events, which was uh, all of the nighttime entertainment for the kids and especially opening ceremonies at U.S. Airways Arena, where we had the largest crowd of Jewish people, close to 10,000 people, which was amazing. The opening ceremonies um, always has a piece where they pay tribute to the athletes who died in the Munich Massacre. When I was planning the Maccabi Games, I found a survivor. I never even knew there were survivors. Uh, Dan alone came in from Israel, and it was just bizarre and fabulous to see the kids and their reaction to him. He was like a rock star. That's how he was treated. And all the kids afterwards wanted to come up and take a picture and get an autograph of him. Um, and I think that's the whole point is we want the kids to be able to remember what did happen and pave a way for a positive Jewish uh, future for our generation of kids. When my son went to play, um, he played with kids that he had gone to K-12 
camp with from the Atlanta Jewish Community Center, which was also a camp that I went to, and he was with kids of parents that I went to camp with, which I think is an incredible experience. As we travel around the world today, we run into kids all over. Um, just last week in Hawaii, he ran into kids that he had played basketball with in the Maccabi Games. So I think that's a very positive experience that the kids can have.